Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you have ever dragged that little fill handle in Excel and thought there's got to be more to this, you are absolutely right. Today, we are unlocking the advanced fill series features in Excel, the tool that lets you autofill complex patterns, custom lists, dates, growth series, and so much more. Whether you are managing data, forecasting trends, or just want to automate repetitive tasks, mastering the fill series will help you do it faster and smarter. So stick around, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's take your Excel skills to the next level, starting right now. Yeah, so friends, let us start with the practical part on this advanced field series. So here in this Excel sheet, I've created a small table. And in the first column, I'm having this word January. So let's say I want to create here a column which is containing all the months. If I've written here January, then I can simply put my pointer over here and then I can drag it. And now you see that it goes till December just by writing January when we drag the cell down then we see here all the months so this is known as a fill series this is automatically done within Excel what I want to do that in the second column I want to drag the cells down but I do not want to have this formatting formatting means this background color which is having the blue color yeah I do not want to see the blue color here as a background I just want to uh, see here all the months but without the formatting so that is also possible so i can select this january then i can put my pointer over here and then with my left button mouse i can drag it down and when i drag it down initially it will show me like this but now i can click this button here it is known as autofill options when i click the drop down here it is giving me various options like copy cells fill series fill formatting only fill without formatting fill months flash fill if we want to copy this months down but we do not want to have the formatting then i can click this option fill without formatting so i click this one and now you see that we don't have any formatting only the january is having a formatting because that was the original cell but when i drag it down now there is no formatting so this is what we mean by the filling a series with without formatting and here we have seen the filling the series with formatting now in this example also let us drag the formula down and let us see other options here so we have here fill formatting only and fill without formatting suppose if i click this option now fill formatting only then you can see that it has copied only the formatting it has not copied the months i cannot see all the months here yeah, but it has just copied the formatting so this is also possible here in the field series now we come to this last column here where we are having monday now here also if i write down here monday and then if i drag the cell down then here i can see all the days starting from monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday again it starts from monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday now here also i can definitely go for all these options like fill formatting only fill without formatting suppose in this column if i want to have only the weekdays i do not want to see here saturday and sunday i want to see only monday to friday and then again when friday is coming over here then again in the next cell i want to have again from monday to friday so i do not want to specifically see this saturday and sunday so that is also possible here when i drag the cells down i can click this drop down here and in the drop down we have this option known as field weekdays so if i click this option field weekdays so you see that now i can see only the weekdays there is no saturday and sunday again if i want to convert it into normal days that i want to see let's say saturday and sunday then that is also possible i have to click this drop down again and now instead of fill weekdays i can click this option fill days so if i click this fill days now again i can see this saturday and sunday so friends this is what we have seen some of the basic options that we have in the autofill series now if i go over here i have written here number 10 so if i normally drag it down then everywhere i'll see here 10 10 10 now what i can do here suppose if i write down here 10 and if i want to create a series 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 then i'll write down here 10 in the second cell i'll write down here 20 so in these two cells i've written here 10 and 20 after writing here 10 and 20 in these two separate cells now we can select both these cells and now i can drag it down and here you can see the series so now we can see 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 so at least we have to write down two numbers here so that excel can understand that okay what 
do you want to do if you write down only one number let's say 10 and then if you drag it down then everywhere it will show you 10 10 10 suppose if if i've written here 10 and 30 now so there is a difference of 20 so if i want to create a series which is having the difference of 20 then that is also possible so i can select these two cells here and then i drag it down and now you can see that we have created a series which is having the difference of 20 so 10 30 50 70 90 110 and so on so these kind of series is also possible here now i am having the german version of excel so in the german version suppose if i write down here Januar in German language January is known as Januar. So now if I drag it down then here I can see all the German months Januar, February, March, April, May, Juni, Juli, August, September, October, November and December. This is the default series which is coming from my Excel. If you are having your own local month names and if you are using your local Excel file, when you write down the first month, then accordingly when you drag it down, then you will be able to see the series in your own months. Suppose if I start from here, let's say April, it's not always required that you start from January, you can also start from April. And then if I write down here April and when I drag it down, then accordingly it will create the other months here. Okay, so again it has created here in German language. Okay, so this is also possible here. Then for the weekdays also, these are the weekdays in English. But if I want to see the weekdays in German, that is also possible in my version. Maybe not possible in your version. But here I can write down Montag, that is Monday. And then when I drag it down, I can see here the series. So Montag, Dienstag, Mittwoch, Donnerstag, Freitag, Samstag and Sonntag. So these are the default series which are automatically there in your local excel file so this is coming directly now what i want to do that i want to show you how to create a custom list so let's say i write down here germany now i want to create here a series of countries so i want to see here germany then i write down here india yeah i write down here pakistan i write down sri lanka Cambodia and so on so I want to create here a series of some countries so whenever I write down one country name let's say India and when I drag it down then accordingly it should show me the all the countries here I don't have to type every time Germany India Pakistan Sri Lanka Cambodia etc so this is also possible you can create your own custom list here so how we can do it very easy if you want to create a custom list then you have to go to the file tab come over here to the file tab in the file tab you go to this last thing that is known as options when i click on options then this dialog box comes over here that is known as excel options dialog box in the excel options dialog box i click here advanced on the left hand side when you click on advanced then you have these various options now here in the advanced option i'll go down i will see this one button go almost at the end and now you see here one button known as edit custom list you click this option edit custom list it is almost at the bottom of this advanced option here so i click here edit custom list and now these are the standard custom list which i have in my excel so it is showing me the short forms of the days in english then the long forms then the short forms of months in english the long forms of months in english then this is the short form of the days in german these are the long forms of the days in german the short forms of the months in german and the long forms of the months in german so these are the standard thing which i get in my excel similarly you will also have these options in your excel file now suppose if i want to create my own list of those countries so here we have in the custom list the first option known as new list so i select this new list here and now i have to write down all the things so i type here germany press enter then i write down here india press enter i write down here pakistan press enter then sri lanka cambodia nepal algeria kenya and so on i can write down here many countries so i have created here a list of countries and now after writing all these countries i can click on here add button so i click on add and now you see that that list has been created and it is now shown on the left hand side so once you create the custom list over here you can click on OK. This also you click on OK. And now here I'll be writing that custom list. So I'll write down here Nepal. Suppose I start with Nepal. Now after writing this Nepal, if I drag it down, I'm having the list of the countries. So Nepal, Algeria, Kenya, Germany, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Cambodia. So this is how we can create our own custom list. Suppose if I start with 
Kenya. Then after writing Kenya, if I drag it down, then you see that the sequence will be like this only. You see, after Kenya, here it is Germany. Here also after Kenya, it is Germany. Then India, then Pakistan, then Sri Lanka, then Cambodia, Nepal and Algeria. So the, the sequence will be same, but you can start from any country. Now remember that this custom list is a great option, but remember that you have created this custom list in this particular Excel file. Now suppose if you create another Excel file, then the another Excel file, if you type, suppose Algeria, and then when you drag it down, then in that Excel file also, you will have the same custom list. So remember that you have to take care of this custom list. If, if you want to have a custom list for a specific file or for a specific time only, you can create that custom list. Now, suppose if you don't want to have this custom list, you want to remove this custom list, then that is also possible. So for removing the custom list, we go to the again file tab. In the file tab, I go to options. In the Excel options dialog box, I again go to advanced. And after selecting this advanced, we go down at the end and now I click the same button that is known as edit custom list. I click on edit custom list and here now I can see the all the custom list. Now if I want to remove my own custom list, I have to select this custom list here. So this is the custom list that I created and I can see all these countries name. Now if I want to remove it, I have to simply click this delete option. So I click the delete button here. It says list will be permanently deleted. I click on OK. So now you can see that that list is gone. I again click on OK in this window also. I again click on OK and now the custom list is removed. See here the names will be there because it's already created before I remove that custom list. But now suppose if I write down here again India and now if I drag it down, you see that everywhere it will show me here India, India, India. So this is the normal dragging here. So now I don't see the series like what I created here because I have now removed the custom list. So this is what is known as creating your own custom list. Now in the last example, I want to show you this button here, which is known as fill button. So what I do that I select region here. Let's say I select this particular cells. Now in this first cell, I want to write down one word known as Excel. So I write down here Excel, press enter. So Excel is written over here in this first cell. Now I want to have this same word in the below selected cells. So what I can do that after selecting all these cells here, I've written the word here Excel. Now I can click this button here, this drop down in this button. So in this drop down, I can see here various options like down, right, up and left. Now I want to go down. I want to fill all these cells with the word Excel. So I can click this button here down. And now you see that we are having here Excel, Excel, Excel. Now I select the two columns on the right hand side. And now here also I want to have the word Excel, Excel. So I've selected these two extra columns. And then what I can do, I can click on this button here, fill button. And in the fill button, now I can click here, right. If I click here, right. So you see that everywhere we are having this word Excel, Excel, Excel. So you can just play with these buttons here, down, right, up and left. And you can save a lot of time here. So friends, in this video, we have seen the various examples examples of the field series. We have also seen the advanced field series. In the advanced field series, I showed you how to create the custom list over here and then how to use that custom list and then finally how to remove the custom list. Now in the next video, I'll be talking about a concept known as flash fill. So it is a part of a series over here in Microsoft Excel. In earlier video, we saw the paste special. Then in the current video, we saw the advanced field series. And now in the next video, we'll be talking about the flash field. So see you in the next video. Thank you very much.